Vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 or thiamine enables the body to use carbohydrate as energy. It is essential for glucose metabolism and it plays a key role in nerve, muscle and heart function. Vitamin B1 is water-soluble vitamin as are all vitamins of the B complex. Vitamins are classified according to the materials they dissolve in. Some dissolve in water and others dissolve in fats. Water-soluble vitamins are carried through the bloodstream. Whatever the body does not use is eliminated in urine. Food, meat, fish and grain are all good source of vitamin B1. There are high concentration of vitamin B1 in the outer layer and gem of cereals and as well as in yeast, beef, pork, nuts, whole grains, and pulses. Fruits and vegetables that contain it include cauliflower, oranges, potatoes, asparagus, and kale. Other sources include liver, eggs, brewer's yeast, and blackstrap molasses. Breakfast cereals and products made with white flour and white rice may be enriched with vitamin B. In the United States, people consume around half of their vitamin B1 intake in foods that naturally contain thiamine, while the rest comes from foods that are fortified with the vitamin. Heating, cooking, processing foods, and boiling them in water destroys thiamine. As vitamin B1 is water-soluble, it dissolves into cooking water. White rice that is not enriched will contain only one-tenth of the thiamine available in brown rice. The National Institute of Health NIH, Office of the Dietary Supplements ODS, notes that one serving of fortified breakfast cereal provides 1.5 mg of thiamine, which is more than 100% of the daily recommended amount. One slice of whole grain bread contains 0.1 mg or 7% of the daily requirement. Cheese, chicken and apples contain no thiamine. Humans need a continuous supply of vitamin B1 because it is not stored in the body. It should be part of the daily diet. Benefits Vitamin B1 or thiamine helps prevent complications in the nervous system, brain, muscle, heart, stomach and intestines. It is also involved in the flow of electrolytes into and out of muscle and nerve cells. It helps prevent disease such as beriberi, which involves disorder of the heart, nerves and digestive system. Uses in medicine. Patients who may receive thiamine to treat low level of vitamin B1 include those with peripheral neuritis, which is an inflammation of the nerves outside the brain, or pellagra. People with ulcerated colitis, persistent diarrhea, and poor appetite may also receive thiamine. Those who are in a coma may be given thiamine injections. Some athletes use thiamine to help improve their performance. It is not a prohibited substance for athletes in the US. Other conditions in which thiamine supplements may help include AIDS, cancer sores, cataracts, glaucoma and other vision problems, cerebellar syndrome, a type of brain damage, cervical cancer, diabetic pain, stress, heart disease, kidney disease in patients with diabetes type 2, motion sickness, a weakened immune system. Not all of these uses have been definitely confirmed confirmed by research. Deficiency Symptoms A deficiency of vitamin B1 commonly leads to beriberi, a condition that features problems with the peripheral nerves and wasting. Weight loss and anorexia can develop. There may be mental problems including confusion and short-term memory loss. Muscles may become weak and cardiovascular symptoms can occur, for example an enlarged heart. How much vitamin B1 do we need? In the US, the recommended daily allowance RODA, of thiamine taken by mouth is 1.2 mg for males and 1.1 mg for females over the age of 18 years. Pregnant and breastfeeding women of any age should consume 1.4 mg each day. Who is at risk of B1 deficiency? People with poor diets, cancer, money sickness, during pregnancy, bariatric surgery, and hemodialysis are at risk of thiamine deficiency. People who regularly drink alcohol to excess may have a deficiency as they may not absorb 
thiamine from their food. Warnick Korsakoff syndrome is a disorder that affects people with chronic alcoholism. It is linked to a lack of thiamine and it can be fatal if not treated. People with Warnick Korsakoff syndrome and those who are withdrawing from alcohol may receive thiamine injections to help them recover. Other diseases such as HIV can reduce the absorption of nutrients and this can lead to a deficiency of vitamin B1. Function All B vitamins are water soluble. They help to convert carbohydrates, fats, and protein into energy or glucose. B vitamins are necessary for keeping the liver, skin, hair, and eyes healthy. They also play a role in the nervous system and they are needed for good brain function. The B vitamins are sometimes called anti-stress vitamins because they boost the body's immune system in times of stress. Side effects Evidence does not confirm any harm from too much vitamin B1, but the US Food and Drug Administration FDA warns on the use of supplements. They urge people to check with their healthcare provider before using supplements with or as a substitute for foods and they call on the public to seek a physician's advice on how to improve their health rather than self-diagnosing. Interactions Tea and coffee contains tannins, chemicals that may interact with thiamine, making it harder to absorb. Some of the chemicals in raw shellfish and fish can destroy thiamine, potentially leading to a deficiency if eaten in large quantities. Cooking destroys these chemicals, but it destroys thiamine too. Hi, thanks for watching today, and I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you like this video and you would like to see more contents like this, kindly like, share, leave a comment in the comment section, and also please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching today, and have a nice day, and look out for the next video.